Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. It's Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. It's Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. So here we are with our cup of tea, Whoa, kindly beauty. made by Sonia. Yeah. Beauty. <laughs> Pitch swerved that job, I don't know why, but yeah, uh, you're lazy. there you go. One hand. <laughs> but no, thank you. So here we are today with Pitch, the main man that we know as C3PO. Love, well loved member of the UK R2 builders as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Yeah. 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 As well as it can be. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm in a wheelchair now and my voice. I've got one arm left. But yeah, I'm doing okay. Mm. Thankful for every day. Good man. That's about as much as I can say, man. And lucky you've got wonderful Sonia to yeah. look after you as well, yeah. to care for you. So. Yeah, the trouble and strife. <laughs> <laughs> Run me around ragged. Uh, full, time, full time job for you now, Sonia, oh, as well. Yeah, I've but, um, had to give the shop up, haven't I? Yeah. To look after you. But I've also had to behave myself. Because mm. you can leave me up in the wind. Yeah, I'd <laughs> push him up and leave you there. He gets on me nerves. <laughs> Especially if it's toilet juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very I'm good. off, back in five wow. minutes. Huh? Too much information. We'll have a look around <laughs> yeah. later actually yeah. and we'll, yeah, we'll get yeah, some yeah. shots of around the house and so on. So, so for people that don't know, I mean, I think you were Sonia, want to just explain a little bit about what's happened. I've got motor neurons disease. It's a condition that parts of the brain stops working apparently. The good thing is I've got a brain I didn't realise I had. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, basically my body is still good mm. it's a bit like a kettle with a faulty lead you've got the plug socket electricity coming to the kettle but the cables faulty so they message the electricity don't get to the parts mm. on time and as a result they shut down bit by bit over time until you know. and that's basically yeah, what it is mm. a lot of people are affected in different ways motor neurons can take your voice in your legs first normally took my legs and my right arm and obviously as you can see I struggle to breathe mm. Uh, talking and breathing requires breathing yeah. <laughs> if you see what I mean at the time. Uh, so yeah I, I had a problem with my breathing and I have a machine now that helps me at bedtime because what was happening even though I was shallow breathing my body was getting the oxygen they're not getting rid of the carbon dioxide or whatever it's called and uh, that causes problems the machine pumps my lungs and removes that you'll probably be seeing me sucking on that later as well <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, so this has taken this has taken hold quite quickly because yeah. it was only <clears throat> a few years ago, maybe three years ago, that we were at Comic Con. Um, Anthony Daniels was there. Actually, it was that around that time? And you were I, was, to, I was ill then. Yeah, you right. were saying you were saying to me that you had probably your leg, and you were working out what this was going to be, and you could cost yeah. you a lot because of because of this problem with your leg. Yeah, basically, it started off. I was at work. And I noticed my right leg was a bit heavy. Or at least the boots were. And uh, I started tripping over stuff. So like, you know, like a step. I'd go up the step but my leg would clip it. I thought that's a bit weird, you know. Went to the doctors. They sent me for physio. 
physio took one look and said, you've got drop foot. He explained that what it was. He said there's a thousand things that could be. Gave me a strap so I could wear, which lifted my leg up. So I could walk normally again. I then went back to the doctors. They sent me to a specialist. That's when I was diagnosed with motor neuron. I wasn't convinced at the time. So I went for a second opinion. Privately. They confirmed it. That's when I was hit with a big bill. Mm -hmm. Which you kindly donated towards. The first time out. But then I obviously got that on the NHS eventually. After a bit of chatting, fighting for it. Uh, and that's it basically. So. Well, so how long ago was that pitch? When, when was it you actually diagnosed? Uh, well. Yeah, in seven months, isn't it? Well, it was September 2019. Wow. The what we call the official one, Valentine's Day, mm. well, <laughs> uh, the, the day after. What? Private one. The private yeah. one. Yeah. So from there onwards, it's been a bit of a good one. Mm. Yeah. And the last, I would say, six months, Papa went down the hill. Mm. But thankfully, touch wood. Yeah, I'm not wood. It's quite alright. Shake it down. Uh, it's uh, levelled out. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, the good news is you haven't lost your humour. No. Yeah. And uh, I did get, obviously, I never will. Very certainly recently, when you were, uh, I think, in a shopping centre, you noticed there was a picture that was a liken to me. <laughs> And yeah. uh, you, you certainly gave it, gave it as good as you, uh, as you, you got in the oh, past, yeah. I think. <laughs> I had to double take that, I thought it was you. <laughs> I thought you were taking this YouTube to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I am who I am, that won't change. Mm. Right up to the day, you know, I will still. Good smile. on you, mate. That's mm. the way it should be. And I, yeah. You were saying yeah. earlier on, you're just a fine example of coping with such you. You know, a difficult situation. I just think you're just Rennes an amazing example of, of... Well, you, you know. can take it one of two ways. Mm. I could sit in there and feel sorry for myself. Or I could turn around and say, do you know what? I'm in control of this. It's my body. This is just an unwanted passenger. And obviously it's going to take its toll. But it won't take me up there, if no. you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm still me and I will be. Mm. And that's as much as I can say. Uh, I always have a laugh with the next person. Yep. I do have bad days. Mm. I can imagine. Very low. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I don't let that affect anybody. Mm. I get up the next day and go, like, come on, you're still here. He cheers me up. <laughs> Keeps Good me man. going, don't you? Yeah, you're worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> right, she, when she's down, I went. Well, at least you can brush your hair, get up and go to the yeah. toilet and do stuff. It's seeing you in and this you go, situation. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Mm. Good man. Yeah, you're right. Because yeah. 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 you've, you've just come home after having a bit of a stint in hospital, which was a bit of a yeah. scary uh, yeah, situation, yeah. wasn't it? You know? And, uh, yeah, I nearly died yeah. three, three or four weeks ago. Mm. I went in for a routine check. That might be, I'm just going to... There you go. <laughs> I, went, I went in for a, um, a a machine for my breathing. And I was really struggling to breathe. You think this is bad, you should see it. And uh, I lost a lot of weight and all that because I weren't eating properly. She was just trying to breathe. I weren't sleeping properly. I had been awake for five days without any sleep at all. And I can tell you that is the most strange feeling. Mm. 
You hallucinate and everything. Yeah. I think a lot was anxiety with you as well. Mm -hmm. With your breathing, he felt like he was going to go to sleep and not wake up. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was the weird. Yeah. Yeah. And when I did try to fall asleep, wake up in a panic. I wake up you? in a panic. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Because my body was stopping. The hospital said, that's your body shut down. Mm. And then your brain goes, well, you're not going anywhere yet. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I went sleeping. Right. So thankfully the hospital helped you out, didn't they? And, well, I you went know, to the hospital. Yeah. yeah. I said to her, I need to see a doctor to get the machine. They took one look at me and kept me in. Mm. The first few days was touch and go. They told the wife I weren't going to make it. Mm. We showed them the me I'm still here. Good man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I was saying earlier on, you know, yeah. we knew it was serious when Sonia and the ex-wife were by your bed, ah. you know. that's We didn't quite know there what was go. going on on, YouTube, on um, Facebook. But yeah. once I saw that face, I thought, this could be, this could be serious. This yeah. could be bad. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we get on, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all get on so well, don't we? So let's move on to why we're here. Sam and Lee had a cup of tea. As yeah. Lee already said, you've swerved the cup of tea making, you know, <laughs> thankfully to this awful disease. Um, <laughs> Sonia, what was the attraction to Star Wars and Pedge? <laughs> well, we met before so you got into Star Wars, didn't we? Ah, and that's, then that's we... the ploy. That's it then. That's how they bring you in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, and then he dragged me to a car boot sale and then that's where he found 3 wasn't it? And then a toy. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then it went on from there, didn't it? Oh, cool. You know how to wine and dine them, carpet sales. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still here? I'm still here. 18 yeah. years later. Amazing. And he's lucky because I've let him have all the yeah. Star Wars Star Wars and the memorabilia all in the house, haven't yeah. I? Okay. Some trooper on the landing, 3 PO and R2 in the front room, we had a Dalek. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. Oh, Dalek in the dining room. I used to be a musician. Right. From a very young age. I toured a lot around, you know, all sorts of pop music. Right, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And eventually, when we met, we had a video hobby. Because I weren't playing. And the hobby, I was to my wife. I'll collect and I'll get these stamps. I just stay that one. So I said, I'll do Star Wars. Mm. Because I love Star Wars. And so did she. Mm. And we went to a car bed. And I found this 12 inch figure of three pair. Which I still have on there. And then I wanted R2. And then we were renting a house at the time. And we used to drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tea! <laughs> <laughs> and we basically, movies uh, brought out Darth Vader costume. Oh, oh, yes, I know what you're yeah. And it was amazing. And this was my And he spent the rent money on it. <laughs> and this was for you, was it? Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> for him? I looked at this costume. I started bidding on it. And we went out and got drunk. And there was a buy it now. Five. Right. Welcome the <laughs> This is what have we done? Spent the money. He turned up. And me being a perfectionist, that needed doing, that needed doing. And eventually I converted him into a good bait yeah. And then he joined a club. That was your first costume, wasn't it, Doc? My first costume. Wow. I was a lot mm. bigger than that. Stop doing that. I was, I was 86 foot three. I was 
diet, don't get me. I mean, you've got a big bloke standing there, so it didn't <laughs> no, Quite not right, no, <laughs> fair point. So, I always wanted to lose people. I love that character. And I know Chris Bartlett from years ago. When he first started me, I was following him on the internet. Old fashioned internet. <laughs> not like it is now. And then he eventually got this up and running. He set up that website. And uh, I kept pumping over it. And then I bit the bullet and bought one. When it, and then when it arrived, it all fit. I had to lose weight. I lost nearly two stone. Wow. But, and then I, I, uh, I was very mutually about my food. Intake. And uh, the torso on the head didn't fit. Right. So that was always an ongoing issue. And there was no way he could go out and buy all this. There was no 3D printing. So I had people sculpt new helmets. And I could never find the right one. But I settled on, on the back one. one. Again, wasn't perfect. But I chewed that one for years. Until 3D printing came out. Right. And I was really into that. Sadly, I can't do that anymore. But I started uh, making things better. The arms I wanted smaller. And the head I wanted longer. I could fit in a small granules in there. But my face is too long. So it would never close. That was one of my issues. And uh, the next hill. Mm -hmm. A real problematic thing it is. Yep. Um, but I just carried on and uh, I had all my brush parts made. So I spent a fortune. That's the rent money gone again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously now all that's on tap. Yeah. You can buy everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, so, I mean, I. So yeah, I've got all the brass made. <coughs> uh, like I say, you couldn't get any of that. And then I did my first trooper sweep yet. And it just took off. It went absolutely mental. You were in demand? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's so much so. I stopped with the club at the time, which was the 99th. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't part of the. I was a member of the UK, team, but not as any costume. No. And uh, I, I got taken over for lots of private events, which we donated money, obviously charity, and then a few I keep as well. Yeah. And uh, he's paid for himself, anyway. Yeah. We did the David Williams's house, didn't we? That was good. Oh, really? Oh, did yeah. you? And then, uh, the agent says, I've got a gig for you in London. Can't tell you who it is. Do you want to do it? I said, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's a birthday party for kids or what I was. Because <laughs> <laughs> they are the worst. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> They're the best, but the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Because they just swear for you. <laughs> and I thought, well, it's going to be uh, somebody's kids and they don't got no what's the word um, they don't care if they break it oh, no. yeah. so I was a bit worried but me and my eldest son went down and when I pulled up outside the house the agent man said right it's David Williams wow <laughs> So I thought, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, we went in. I was greeted by his sister, I think it is. And was it him dressed up as a lady, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know what, it, when I met him, he was so normal. Yeah. Mm. 
he didn't come across like you know in camp <laughs> had a beard and uh, when he saw me kit up he went I don't want you to come out yet I didn't realise the costume was that good mm -hmm. wow. I'll save you for, the, for later so I stood outside in costume in the heat <laughs> for about four hours. Oh, that's really nice of him, that's really... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a dude. They looked, yeah. they, looked, they looked after us. Yeah. yeah. But then I could see all these people coming down. Anton Deck. Anton Deck with the kids, well not Deck. Oh, Simon so Peck. Uh, which one's the, the little one? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Simon yeah. Peck and the other fella. There was just so many I knew. On TV or what? Did you say something to one of them who was in Star Wars? Yeah, I'll get to that in a no. <laughs> So anyway, um, he wanted me to do the cake. I thought I'm not old to do the cake. <laughs> but, so anyway, we went to a, He's got a basement downstairs, which is like a man cave, yeah. which goes out into the garden. And they hired a couple of uh, people, like presenters, all into these Star Wars gear and cheap Star Wars stuff, you know. And I was the only professional costume there. Wow. And he realised that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, me and his, uh, is it X, Y? Yeah, he's not. Laura Stone, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Model, I think she is. Mm. She was lovely. She dressed up as a female bather. <laughs> wow, okay. She came out and we presented the cake. And uh, that was it. And then I just mingled. I had photos taken with them all. And I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But keeping in character. And Simon Pegg was still behind me. I love Simon mm. And I heard him say, I know how that guy feels in that costume. You know, blah, 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 this, that, you know. And I turned around to him in 3 p.m. He went, oh, oh, hello, 3 p.m. Are you okay? I said, in 3 p.m., which I can't do now. <laughs> I said, I've only got one thing to say to you. He says, what's that? I said, one quarter portion. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he came up to me. He went, only a Star Wars nerd would fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody knew he was in Star Wars. But obviously, we did. Yeah, brilliant. And he, he made a special announcement for making his day. Hiya. Hiya. So, uh, hey, yes, we made his day brilliant. by saying that, you know. Your fan mail's all I've paid as well. Fan mail, mate. Right? Good lord. Yeah, not, not much today, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was great. And then. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was, it was just a really, really good day. That's amazing. amazing. So obviously, you've met Anthony Daniels several times now. Yeah. Mm. That was an ongoing quest. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to you guys as well. Were you there that day he raced home to get his neck sealed? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee was looking after He says, show. get the yeah. neck sealed, get the yeah. seller tape on. So I, I have I have been keeping Anthony updated on oh. your situation. Thank and you. he sends his regards, he sends his oh, best wishes you. and uh, mm. he's thinking of you. That's nice um, I send him the occasional photos because he's not on yeah. like Facebook and what have you. Mm. And I know he posts on Twitter and that, but he doesn't follow much what's going Thank on. Thank you, that's but nice. I am emailing him and he sends his Yeah, that's nice, both. isn't it? That's really so, nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, his sister had most new own disease. Really? So, yeah. yeah. So, oh my God. So he, wow. he knows what you're, exactly what you're going wow. through. And, um, Do you know, that's... That's an omen almost, you know. Gosh, yeah. what a shock. That we can do something for motor neurons. Yeah. I know you're doing the, the charity, mm. which is amazing. One of the things I've learned from this is physio. Mm. It's very, very important, but it's not recognised by the medical profession. So when you ask for it, you don't get it. Right, okay. 
and it's a killer. Right. I'm having this argument with them at the minute. And I proved my point in hospital. Even the professionals couldn't say me. In short, if you break your arm, uh, you can get physio yep. to make it better. Yep. If you got motor neurons, your body shuts down. Yep. Only certain muscles, but the rest don't work either because they don't. So you get muscle wastage. And you seize up. Physio comes involved. It frees those muscles up and makes it last longer. Yes, sure, sure. This arm, which I can't really know. Can you see? It's not big than in this chair, but I can move my hand. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And I can do that. So I couldn't do that three weeks ago. Wow. Right, okay. Physio has helped me with Yeah, physio every morning in hospital, didn't you? And I said to the professionals about it. When I come out of hospital, I need physio. They said you won't get it unless you pay for it. Hundred pound an hour. <laughs> wow, really? Wow. Mm. To come in here. Yeah. Wow. I said it should be out. part of the package, really. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So. But when, when you say about it, they're like, it doesn't work. But how do they know? Because I've not I got said, it, have they? No. It does disease. work, look. Yeah. And we proved them in the hospital. Wow. And the people give me a physio. I agree. Mm. So are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Wow, OK. So I have to learn to work. Yeah, yeah we're everything you left-handed. Yeah, of Yes. Right. I'm getting better at text. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's an ongoing dispute. So it's part of my campaign, if I've got one, is to fight for physio, mm. or at least funding towards it, so people with it can get some sort of help with that. Definitely. Yeah. I need to talk to uh, the association and see what is actually out there before I pursue it further. Right, mm. okay. Because yeah. yeah. you can't move and you're stuck in bed or a chair, all your muscles seize up, you see. In physio, it loosens you up, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. And yeah. makes you feel better. Yeah. So it I don't does. know how they poo poo yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, they, they do do so physio for you. other conditions oh, yeah. when you're bedridden. They, exactly. You know, they, they give you physio so that for, to save muscle wastage. Mm. So why not my, yeah. your condition? I, yeah. I get your point. Yeah, but they... Uh, in their textbook, it's not it's not repair. No, it might help make you feel more comfortable, but it's all about that. Yeah, yeah of course mm. it is. Yeah, yeah, it's funding. Uh, you know, funding yeah. yeah, right. So you're managing to have physio yourself, and you still I get, fighting I get, for I get it once don't. a week. Okay, right. I'm fighting it to have it every day. Mm. Yeah, I wrote it twice this week, and the girl who's done it has allowed us to video it. So I can do it. <laughs> and show the care. Right. Oh, that's good. And all the yeah, care. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had physio, Lee? I've never had physio. I've Not never had a massage. I've <laughs> never had any of that at all. No paid happy ending then? <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> Are you, you sound like you're mental. No, no, I'm just, I'm, just, you know, I'm just making an observation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly. I've, I've, I'm making questions. I want to rewind to the 3PO costume. So I just <laughs> completely change, change the subject. I'm like an old man. Oh, I can't be talking about that. Sort of stuff. Um, your, your final 3PO costume, is that fully 3D printed? Not all fully. Okay. The only thing that's 3D printed is the lid. Okay. Yeah, right. The rest of it is uh, fiberglass. It is about as proper as it gets. Yeah, yeah. It's a 409 suit, which is Chris Bartlett's suit. Yeah. Uh, Jason Street does one as well. Yeah. But they're not very much available. Uh, Chris has been there for years. Yes. 
I believe that's based on the Disney suit originally. I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah but that all it's all fiberglass. The shorter ABS. And the uh, next ill ABS. And then if I hadn't been ill, I made the flexible hand. Yep. Not in there. It's not very flexible now because obviously that stuff here it's TPU. TPU. Yeah, well, it's, it's funny because I saw your design. I remember vividly seeing your arm design because not that I was going to wear it, but it, w- it would have been good to get that kind of motion. Yeah. yeah. But that motion, you had that you had that TPU yeah. element attached to it, and I was like, how on earth did you do that? And I printed it and then put that pop that on the top, which was brilliant. Yeah, have you tried that? Ever? No, because I'm too fat. As he just, as he just well, that's as I suggested by yeah. the laughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder. There you go. You can get your happy ending now, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Bad, 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 that's yeah, impressive. Yeah. So can I? Yeah. Don't drop it. So that's TPU. That's fat metal eyes. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Painted no. with brass. Mm. And that was that was going to be my upgrade. Right. Uh, because I have the, I have the, uh, the fiberglass hands. Oh, but I thought I'd go down the route of a flexible hand. And when you wear that, it does soften up. Yeah, sure. But obviously, when it's cold, and if you read in Mr. Daniel's book, they had the same problem on set. Yep. You just have to hit the hands up. To wear, obviously they're not 3D printed, but it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and obviously they were the upgrades that I was going to do. The helmet I wanted to fit me right, which now it does. And then the arms I wanted smaller, which I remained. But sadly never got to wear them. No. But they will be on display. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that's it really. Okay. So we've got a few Sam and Lee questions for you now. Which scene in Star Wars would you have liked to have been in? The desert scene. In like, New Hope? Yeah, New Hope. Okay. Way. Because that's an image that I love. Is that 3PO and R2? Yeah. Right. I tried to recreate that desert scene with some photos that you might have seen. Uh, I just love that. Two of them kicking about in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Blaming each other. Yep. Uh, and it's something I remember as a child. Uh, the droids were always a... Star Wars was always about the droids. For me. Yeah. So that was, that's what I would do, yeah. It's interesting how, how various, pu- various characters resonate with people. Mm, so it's yeah. something that I, because I had no interest in doing R two D two, as you probably know, but I still like the droids. I still like their kind of imperial side of things. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's very very good. I think all the kids want to be a stormtrooper, mm. and they're very iconic. Yes, but they stood out to me. R two, um, I loved him as well, and I thought now that I've got a free pair. I need Laura and Andy together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what they were based on, wasn't it? Really, that was ah. that was some of the inspiration. So I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So if you could build any other droid, what would it be? I started to look into the bug droid, like Gordon has and a few others. Uh, the bug droid would have been good. Yeah. Mm. Um. And that's it, really. Maybe. Uh, what was the name of the droid that popped? Uh, what was it called? Uh, the, R, the R3? Or? Which one? It's uh, the one that the, uh, they blowed his mouth. Oh, R4D5. Oh, yeah. I always fancy R5D4. R5D4. Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, James Fittardo. So quite a fancy one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're nice and iconic. Mm droid away from R2-D2 aren't they for sure yeah yeah. I'm surprised there's not more of them about actually yeah I'm surprised yeah. Not. 40 motivator exactly That's probably why they're not good point why they're not about exactly Cage, right. <laughs> hey, yeah. what is your most treasured collectible my wife 
Oh, 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 there's only one in the series. I was about to say, it doesn't have to be Star Wars. He was in there. He was in there. You've got some of these answers prepared, haven't you? You've been watching our videos. Does it have to be anything? It can be anything. It can be anything at all. It can be anything. I suppose it's my granddad's watch. Oh, right, okay. That's really out there, isn't it? Man? That's good. That's, we've had a table pitch. Yeah. Don't worry about oh, it. God. Yeah, we've had, we had a table. Oh, a table, yeah. yeah. First <laughs> one we did was a table. Yeah. Well, when you go and have a moose later, yeah. you'll see it in the cabinet on the bottom. Basically, in the Second World War, when it came to an end, my got a German soldier wanted a cigarette or a packet of cigarettes. So my granddad and him swapped. Oh wow! A packet of fags with his wife. Wow! Yeah. Mm. And it was handed down to me. Wow! So yeah, it's a really cool. Life. That's, that's incredible. That's yeah, a that's nice amazing. story. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. quite incredible. Yeah. I used to wear it all the time. And it still works. Wow! Mm. God, that's incredible. Papa Swiss wrapped. Brilliant. I oh, will grab a shot of that then. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's very cool. That's very. Cool. It's at the bottom. Yeah. Cool. So, Pedge, as you know, yeah. you saw myself, Lee, and Glyn cross the Humber Bridge in a segment we're calling yeah. Beat Off Glyn. <laughs> what would you like to beat off? <laughs> <laughs> Give us a challenge. <laughs> Give what challenge would you like to beat off? Challenge oh, just to translate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, some sort of challenge. Uh, wow, that's a good one. Tug of war or something like that. Tug of war. war. Oh, that's a great idea. That is yeah. a good idea. Yeah. See, he's got the strongest draw. Strongest yeah. draw. That is an amazing idea. It is. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, That's coming a bit soon. more practical than yeah. the sky. We've had a sky dive. Sky dive, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone suggested he comes out, jumps out of a plane, but oh, crikey. I don't think any R2 builder's going to commit to that. I mean, you could do it one of two ways. As a tug of war. Or what weight it can pull. Oh, yeah. yeah I like that. I like it. A tyre, like a truck truck tyre or something. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's well coming to Droid Builders UK yes. <laughs> this well, summer. Yeah. We'll have that. Thank yeah. you, Pitch. We're going to have that one. We're going to have that one. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. See if it can pull you in your Good chair. Stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so we've got a um, quick fire round now. Yep. So just. One the, I'm going to give you two things, one or the other, you've got to choose. Okay. Tea or coffee? Coffee. <laughs> Giles or Oliver? That's a tough one. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not most of the way on. You don't want to. Giles. Okay. Giles. Okay. Giles. It's because I've not met Oliver, so. You're not missing I'll much. I'll say Giles. EastEnders <laughs> or Coronation Street? Oh my god. He's standing as yes. Okay. Um, go on. Anthony Daniels or C3PO? Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony Daniels would be good without him, we wouldn't be. Ah, good, good. Love yeah, that. That's a good one. Love good, that. good, very good. He's got all the answers, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, good. Yeah. This is good. This is. R2 or BB 8? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good, man. What's your pa what's your talent? You, you, yeah. So Lee has his regional accent. You've heard his regional accent, haven't you? Yeah. So what's the regional accent for up here, Lee? Derby. Yeah. Um, that was it. I don't know. Hey, up me duck. Hey, up me duck. Hey, up me duck. I'm from Derby. <laughs> Is that a believable pitch? What was the other thing I said? Don't know. No. I've, got, I've got to say, Sonia has got a cracking Derby accent. I, I have! Like, yeah, you have, you've got a proper right good Derby broad, accent. Right broad, isn't it? Ain't it? Proper. <laughs> and Bath, not Bath. Yeah, what are you grass? Grass, yeah. Grass and bus. Laugh, bus. Let's yeah, see, I've got it. Yeah. Caught. Go. Do it again, so give me a look. Bus, line. bus. Yeah. Bus. So I'll, I'll catch the bus. And also. <laughs> and the, st the bus stops <laughs> just by the, the grass. Say, the goose scoop. The goose. Yeah. Cut it, I want to yeah. cut and blow dry. I want to cut and blow dry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
that is, I've got it. I've yeah. still got it. I think yeah. you have. You I have. I mean, Paige, what is, what's your thoughts on that accent? Why did you say a hook? Oh God! Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> but you're, yeah, you're cool. Yeah, they, they say hook. My nan used to say kook. Kook, kook up here. Well, I, I, I never understood that because they're doing well. Is it Captain Cook or Captain Cook? <laughs> Uh, Captain Hook, as it were, you just. Who? Yeah, you just slipped up there, haven't Captain you? Captain Who? What's on the end of your foot? Uh, foot or foot? <laughs> <laughs> and do you still call it cops round here? Yeah, cops. Yeah, 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 cops. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and yeah. cob. Yeah. So, Ped, have you got any yeah. hidden talents? No. No? <laughs> Not anymore. Well, yeah, but what. Uh, anything? In the past, well, you you touched you on the drum. band. You used to you used to play in a band. You were a drummer, were you? Mm. I was a drummer. There yeah. you go. There you go. Mate. That's something I didn't know about you. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know you. I must yeah, confess. Yeah, I was, uh, confess, yeah. What was the name of your band? Well, there's been several. Gravity Fathers. And then there's PCF. That was a punk band. And you had a record out, didn't you? Yeah, I got Radio One. Radio One. Radio one. Oh, wow. Really? Mm. And then. Uh, I had a big gap from it. And then I joined another band called Cats Train. Yeah. Cats 23. Yep. And we did biker do's pubs all around the country. And they were awesome. Brilliant. I mean, that was a bit messy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. I think we'll finish on that one. I think we will. Yeah. We will. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Funny enough, I've had a message from Giles whilst, excuse me if I've been talking <laughs> about Corona, but I've had a message from Giles while we've been talking. Yeah. Um, and I know the type of kindly donated some money already. Mm, um, yes. And the money's been transferred to you. Yeah. And the, I think the Just Giving page actually closed for some reason. There's a timeline over the Just Giving yeah. page. So we started another one up, um, which we were pushing during the last summer show. And Sam and I did the live show. Yeah. And we've just hit the target. Good so I'm glad to say that Giles has hit the button and you've got another just under £4,000 coming your way. So we've reached the target. That's fantastic. Um, so That's with his wheelchair. So we've, we've reached just over £6,000 for your pitch. And, um, you know, that's what you mean to us. I know it's not just about the money, but, um, you know, these guys are all there for you. And I know you've been messaging them and yeah. talking to a lot of them. But um because we've spent all his pension you see right. and everything. Oh. You know, but that's what it means to us as well, Paige. Obviously you're showing your appreciation and you really don't need to say anything because you know that's what you mean to us. And um it's just nice to be able to do just something. And it's it's not really much, oh, it but is. it's just it's, it's just you know, lot, it's what we want to do for you. Drink. And we will continue to raise money for the foreseeable future for motor new home disease. Oh, yeah. So we'll, you, yeah. we're going to set up another Just Giving page and, and give money to the, to the charity yeah. as well. And we'll Thank champion you. whatever we can for, you know, what you're campaigning for. Yeah. Certainly, the physio, you know, isn't it? For the physio. Yeah. We'll we'll think, certainly yeah. make people aware of that. And, you know. By opening the motor new homes association, we'll be able to give funding for it. Mm. So by raising money, for them, that will help. Yeah. I just want to make sure that that facility is there. Yeah. yeah. Because they do offer support mm. for a lot of things. Uh, one of them is my food. They gave me 500 quid to all my food. Mm. It's a one-off payment. But it's expensive. I mean, I pay 200 pounds a fortnight. For my food that I have to have. It's a special pure aid, isn't pure it? Diet. Right. Mm. But, but they gave out about that. And they give out a bit of funding for other things if you need it. Mm. So it's all I mean that's amazing. It all helps. Yeah. So I mean thank you. Yeah. And, and I mean, can I say, Ben, you know, you're such a great example uh, of how to cope with the situation. Um you know, yeah. we've discussed this already, you, yeah. but you know, you just, uh, yeah. just if you, and when you, I'm poorly, yeah. the, the way you conduct yourself, I just hope mm. I can be yeah. half as brave as you are. Because yeah. anyway. the way you, you, you know, I, you must have tough times. Of course you do. 
but um, yeah, you know, yeah, fair play yeah. to you, mate. You know. But on the more important note. I want another cup of tea. No! <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Cheers, Paige. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, thank Paige. You. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thanks for having us, yeah. both thank of you. you. Yeah. yeah. You're very well. Thank you. Brilliant. Stability kettle for Paige. <laughs> cool, <laughs> clever. It's like a little puff. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, so we have to fill the kettle up. Oh. Do you like the cups? Brilliant. What would you like, tea or coffee? Um, good point. <laughs> Sam, tea or coffee? We've got a cappuccino or... You want a coffee? Okay, coffee is cappuccino or... Instant, okay. Instant's good. The dog's in the bath, bless him. Instant's good. Instant, what are you having? I'll have a cup of tea, please. Tea? Right. That, that. Sugar pot, anybody have sugar? Um, no, <laughs> no, neither of those sugar. They're good, those tins, look yeah. at that. Yeah. Brilliant. But look at the biscuit barrel as well. Oh, wow. So that's all your that. biscuits in there. Love that. <laughs> and have you seen the tie fighter knife set or whatever it is? Jesus, it's got it all going on. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look. <laughs> Jesus, Star Wars mad. Yeah, we've even got one at a barbecue outside a great big ship. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, you should get a bit musty through the window there. Look for that little wing on the table. <laughs> oh, wow. What is it? Like a barbecue. Let's see if I can uh, get that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, there comes the dog bone. <laughs> uh, there you go. Let's cut to that. Cool. Oh, they take forever when you wait. They do, don't they? Yeah. So how are you doing? This isn't for the video, by the way. This no, is just good and bad days. Yeah, very, very, very stressful. Yeah, I can imagine. Because I'm yeah. sleeping in there with him. Oh, are you? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's um, good. Yeah. That's good. Thanks for asking, yeah. actually. It's very no, I, I, and genuinely, like you know, I, I guess you were bombarded with messages once he came home. Oh, and, yeah, and that's, that's why I left it a week or so, because yeah. I, I imagine at points there becomes like you get a crest of people Ooh. messaging you because you see it a picture of Pedge on Facebook. Yeah. But then Pedge hasn't been on Facebook for about a week. Mm. It's probably the, the messages went down a little bit. I yes. thought now's a good time to message Sonia oh, and see how you're doing. Yeah, and you know, because I know exactly, I bet it is, and it's really difficult to keep on top of it. You know, you've both got to deal with each other and the situation, yeah. but then also you've got to deal with his like his fan base, if you like, almost. Yes. You know, it's you know, because yeah, it is lovely. I mean, like I said, the only support we've got is he wells up no end when he talks about you a lot. Oh, bless him, yeah, on the bless radio him. interview. Oh, bless him. Um, but without your support, love and support for him. Yeah, well, this, this is why I did it in the first place, you know, joy building that. I just yeah. could see the community was so good oh, when I started in whatever it was, 2007. Yeah. And it's just nice to be able to do something for fellow members and builders and, oh, and that, you know, it is. It is. They don't, they've not given us a support network in the hospital. No, it's a blessing. So yeah. I've got the school and all the mothers and that as my support. And yeah. Paul's got up, well, we've all okay. got you yeah. support. Yeah. But this is not, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is really. I, I um, get it. You know, I, I know, yeah. I appreciate this. There's staff shortages and what have you. Yeah. However, when you're on the receiving end of no help. Well, we were completely forgotten. Yeah. We weren't even on the radar. Yeah. Now, how much milk? No skim. Oh, that would do him, I reckon. You can yeah, always, you can always have more. Your tea. Fairly your strong. This is the teaspoon. You like it strong, do you? Please, yeah. Yeah, Paul made sure we got the best mugs out. Oh, bless him. <laughs> we've got Sam and Ian a cup of tea mug for him as well. We always, oh, we've got his special printed mug, so he's got a little keepsake and a sticker. Oh, lovely. Now, do you always put your milk in after? Yep. Now, let's uh, see. It's, it's, it's strong enough. 
Dun 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 dun. Bit more milk. Uh, yeah, a bit more milk, bit please. More. Only a little bit more. Just a little bit lighter. It's very difficult making other people. It is, isn't it? Especially when you're being videoed. I have it weak, you see. That's lovely. That's, That's perfect.